Tavon, what's up? We wanted to catch up with you because uh, we've heard you got some news to share. You just signed a new contract with the club. Congratulations, how do you feel? Yeah, uh, I feel amazing. You know, my coaches when I was younger used to tell me, you're not a real professional until you sign your second contract. So I think it's a big step for me. You know, just keep moving forward, continue getting better. How's the family feel? Everyone, like what was, what's everyone feeling? Definitely excited, you know. I get to continue my time here in New York, you know. As everyone knows, I'm born and raised in the Bronx, so I think nothing beats that. <laughs> Growing up in the Bronx, now signed my second contract for NYCFC. I think it's an amazing feeling. What are your goals just going forward right now? Uh, like I said before, just to continue to keep getting better, uh, stay hungry, you know. To be honest, this just feels like a new beginning for me. I feel like it's just a reset button. Everything starts from zero. So just got to get after it now. Cool, so it's a beautiful day after training here. We're going to ask you a couple more questions and just get to know you a little bit. For sure. How do you get ready for a game? I'm pretty hyper, so I tend to try to relax a little bit, you know, listen to music, uh, some Meek Mill, a boogie, throw some of that in there. Explain to us your style defending in a 1v1 situation. In a 1v1 situation? Oof. Can't really give y'all the sauce, but um, I'll give y'all a little peek on it. First, you gotta analyze your opponent, find out if he a lefty or righty, or if he use both, and just close him down to one side. Whenever you feel like he makes a bad touch, just make your move. What is a tough situation you've encountered as a defender in this league? So as a fullback, back post crosses are a tough one. You know, bigger guys sometimes, uh, you just gotta be in the right positioning on a good time. Yeah. What was your favorite sports team growing up and your favorite sports team now? I like the Celtics. Boston Celtics, yeah. Are you still like them? Uh, <laughs> a little less. <laughs> what about soccer team growing up? Soccer team, uh, I still am a Manchester United fan. I'm one of those guys, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good question. Who was your favorite player growing up? Yeah, Cristiano. Cristiano, CR7, of course. Uh, do you switch boots throughout the season, and are you superstitious? Um, no, I'm not superstitious. And yeah, I switch, I switch boots throughout the season. To be honest, I don't switch on purpose, I just run through them. <laughs> Does your family have any nicknames for you? <laughs> yeah, my mom and my grandma call me Tay Tay. What's the most New York thing about you? I wear fitted. <laughs> <laughs> what languages do you speak? I speak English, obviously, and I speak Patois. It's uh, Jamaican. Well, I'll go on. That's like... What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> what was your favorite place to play in in New York growing up? Definitely the park. We call it the Valley. It's um, it, the real name for it is the Hafen Park. It's in the Bronx. I'd live there. I would go right after school, so like three, three o'clock, like two thirty around there, and I would not leave until till the lights cut off. <laughs> Nine p.m., ten p.m. What has been your favorite game to play in so far? My favorite game to play in so far, by far, would be the MLS Finals, for sure. Pa, <sighs> we left there feeling amazing. <laughs> what, what was the pressure like going into that game for you? For me, uh, for me, the pressure doesn't really get to me. Um, I feel like I stay cool, calm, and collective until it's time to go to war. That's about it. Who was the hardest player to play against so far? Dang. Um, I got to give it to Jordan Morris, Seattle Saunders, for sure. Why? Uh, as I would say, he, he sauced me up a little bit. I can't lie. I can't lie. But, but yeah, I'm waiting on the next matchup for sure. What player from world football would you like to play with in the back line? Virgil van Dijk. What player would you like to defend against one day? Well, we'll just go with the biggest player, Neymar. How would you explain your style, your fashion sense? Fashion? Ah, uh, drippy. <laughs> I'm from New York, so, you know. I'm pretty sure New York is one of the big fashion places, right? What is your favorite food? Um, I like a lot of pasta, oxtail, mac and cheese. Yeah, and uh, the drink, ginger beer. And this is not alcohol. <laughs> it's like uh, soda. Would you rather play a night game or a day game? Night game, for sure. Under the lights, little drizzle, preferably a little rain, crowd screaming. Home, of course. <laughs> what do you wear when you're feeling your best? What do I wear when I'm feeling my best? What do I wear when I'm feeling my best? I feel like, that's a tough one. I feel like whatever, when I'm feeling the best, the clothes just 
the clothes sees me in the closet. They see me, they look right at me and I say, they just say, yeah, this one. And I just go and take it off the hanger. They choose me. <laughs> What's your favorite piece in your closet? I got it. You want the whole breakdown or you just want? Yeah, give us the long version. All right, um, let's get drippy. Since y'all wanna get dripped. Some Dior shoes, probably some chrome hearts. Uh, we'll go Dior shirt too. A little Dior belt. And yeah, a little calm fit. A little, my 24 chain. What are the biggest lessons you learned at NYCFC so far? Go for your dreams, man. Go for your dreams. Don't let nobody turn your dreams down. My second season in the MLS, I won the MLS Cup. I think if anyone told me I'd do that, before I signed, I'd be like, maybe five, six, six years in. And look, I did it, so what makes you think you can? You walk into a bodega with $5, what do you get? $5, bodega. Uh, I'm by myself, or I can bring whoever I want. By myself, um, let's say a dollar drink, Arizona. Then I would get two bag of chips, so that's $2 I use, I got $3 left. I get some cookies, I use $3, I got two left. And that'll be it, I saved the two, and I spent three. Uh, what was the craziest atmosphere you played in so far? Yeah, by far, MLS, MLS Finals, for sure, in Portland. Ah, man, they was not screaming our names, I can tell you that. <laughs> Describe it a little bit, how it felt like walking on that pitch. It felt amazing, to be honest. To be honest, it still, it still, it still don't even hit me right how, like, amazing it was, you know? Like, everyone around me just tells me, like, how it was, you know? Because I was so, like, in, in it, you know what I mean? I didn't get to see the whole picture, but... But yeah, it was definitely by far the most experience, the most, the most craziest experience I've ever had in my life, for sure. Um, from the away fans screaming, the home fans screaming, pa, us scoring, them scoring, pa, it's penalties. Oh man, penalties! My heart was, <laughs> my heart was beating, <laughs> pa. But yeah, we came out on top. When you were in it, when you were on the pitch, were you able to think? about it or what was going through your head? To be honest, I was really locked in. You know, when I'm locked in, I can't really, there's nothing really that's gonna get me to get out of the zone. So I try to stay locked in. I don't really focus on that. I just focus on winning the game. Whatever comes after, comes after. Whether it's champagne, lifting trophies, or going home, so yeah. You think you learned a lot from that game? Most definitely, what? most definitely. I feel like finals experience is needed. Certain stuff you wouldn't do that you would do in a season game. It's more crucial, you know what I mean? You wouldn't take that chance. You get what I'm saying? For sure. And I think that experience, we had a lot of it on our team, for sure. We still do. What was the first thing you did after you signed your pro contract? I bought a car. <laughs> yeah, first thing I did, I bought a car. Is that like? Honda. I like Hondas. Me buying my car, I was in the dealership with my mom, because you know I couldn't, I couldn't take my insurance out, it had been too expensive. <laughs> my mom helped me, um, yeah. And the people in the dealership were looking at me like, the car's for him? I'm, I'm 17 years old. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely a good moment, for sure. On the pitch, are you a double sock or a single sock guy? Single sock, come on guys. <laughs> single sock with the little sleeve. Uh, as a New Yorker, this is an important question. Is pineapple on pizza okay? 110% pineapple on pizza is okay. If anyone says different, you're gonna have to take it up with me. What's your favorite show to watch on the road or at home? Um, I like Power and I like BMF. Who's your favorite actor? Can I go actress and actor? Yeah. My favorite actress, Angeli Jolie, of course. <laughs> um, uh, and my favorite actor would be, um, Dang, I forgot his name. Idris? Idris. Bro, that man is, hey, Idris, if you're watching this, hey, let me get in a movie, bro. <laughs> Come on. What you made it for, bro? <laughs> if you were to star in a movie, what type of movie would it be? Any genre? Can I pick two? Yeah. I'd be like a half romantic and then half action, for sure. Like a rush hour type. Yeah, yeah, like a rush hour type. <laughs> Chill out, chill out! <laughs> Gotta, gotta! <laughs> All right, thank you, Tay. Just one last one. What do you want to say to the fans and, and everybody at the club that you've re-signed now? Um, let's go get some more trophies. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> let's get them trophies.